Alright, so here's an update on my Raspberry Pi point and shoot camera. Um, I've recently been able to take the GPIO pins and make my own little uh, kind of button shield right there attached to a single button that I have inside the case right here wrapped up in the cable so it all fits into this case. Um, I also made an additional USB cable that is just the the length that it needs to be. Um, I had to, that was kind of hard. Um, and this is the Entercell battery on the back of it. That's the only external piece for it. It's also got Wi-Fi and I can just plug the HDMI into um, a TV or something and flip through all the pictures or I can just hit it over FTP on the local network so that I can see all the pictures as they're being taken on the camera which is completely wireless um, and the battery itself uh, lasts about you know three or four hours of just fully on like this um, it just, you have to uh, boot into the software and then while it's in the software, if you press the button, it basically, uh, you know, turns the camera on for half a second in order to just take a picture. So I'll push the button. You can see the red light go on, it takes a picture. Um, it saves it, time stamped and everything um, on the camera. So it's completely wireless. Um, this is just as big as it is, so you just point and shoot. It's kind of like a pinhole camera, though, because you don't, you can't really. There's no screen for it. And there's no real viewfinder. You're just basically taking a photo like this, um, and there's no real aiming on the Raspberry Pi camera either. So you kind of take the same kind of picture. I'll post. I took a bunch of pictures on it while walking the dog this afternoon. And I'll uh, I'll put those pictures up so that people can see it out out in the daylight. It's it's actually pretty good. All right, thanks for watching.